Hey, have you ever downloaded an app and then ended up with a bunch of weird files? Or maybe it just wouldn't install no matter what you tried. Super annoying, right? It's like your phone is speaking a different language or something. Well, don't worry. In this video, I'm breaking down why Android apps can be so confusing sometimes. And more importantly, how you can always pick the right version for your phone. Let's dive in. So, first things first. Let's talk about your phone's brain. That's your processor. And just like there are different types of brains, there are different types of processors. If your phone is older, like from before 2015, it probably has a 32-bit ARM processor. In that case, you'll need apps made for Armia by V7A. But if you've got a newer phone, chances are it's rocking a 64-bit ARM processor, which uses ARM 64 V8 apps. Now, there are also some tablets or older Android computers that use Intel processors. Those need apps labeled x86 or x86 underscore 64. Here's the thing. If you grab the wrong version, the app either won't install or you'll get errors like app not installed or incompatible architecture. It's kind of like trying to shove a DVD into a Blu-ray player. Just not going to happen. All right, now let's talk about how sharp your screen looks. That's your screen's DPI. DPI stands for dots per inch, but you don't need to get technical. It basically controls how big or sharp stuff looks on your screen. You'll see numbers like 160, 320, or 480 DPI. If the DPI setting doesn't match your screen, the app might still work, but it could look super tiny, super blurry, or just kind of off. People on forums mention that NodP versions are usually safe, but on phones with really high or really low resolutions, stuff might look weird. Just something to keep in mind. Think of your Android version like your phone's age. Older phones run older versions of Android, and apps need to be compatible with those versions. So if an app says it needs Android 10 or newer, and your phone's still hanging on to Android 8, yeah, it probably won't install. Or if it does, it might be buggy or crash all the time. Some people on forums say they've managed to install newer apps on older phones using APK files. But honestly, it's risky. Apps can crash, and older Android versions have security issues that can be exploited. So be careful. Here's a real-world example. Say you've got an old Samsung from 2014. It's most likely running on Armia by V7 and an older version of Android. So you'd need to look for apps that work with that setup. But if you've got something like a new Google Pixel, it's using ARM 64 V8A and the latest Android version. You'd want apps made for that. By the way, people on forums recommend apps like CPU-Z to check your processor type and device info HW to find out your screen's DPI. Super handy if you're not sure what your phone specs are. Asterisk, so what happens if you mess it up? If you install the wrong processor type, the app won't open. Wrong DPI, the app might look weird or blurry. Wrong Android version, it might not install or it'll just crash. Basically, it's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. It's just not gonna work. Asterisk, all right? Hopefully that clears things up a bit. Next time you're downloading an app, take a second to check the specs. Save yourself the headache. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more tech tips, and if you've got questions, drop them in the comments. I'm happy to help out.